So this is just a quick message to all you transcriptionist transcribers out there. And well, it's a quick question. It's just, how do you do it? I, uh, I just finished. So I um, accepted a job as a transcriptionist, transcriptionist translator, mainly because I hadn't accepted one in uh, several years. And so I kind of wanted to keep myself in practice. And I realized, I mean, well, first of all, he asked it, that it had to be transcribed from Italian audio into Italian text and then translate it. And I thought, well, I basically do that anyway when I trans... And I thought I had done that precisely in the past. I checked, and actually I haven't. And it took me so much longer. I had to transcribe the Italian and then go back and, uh, and translate it into English. Plus, he needed timestamps, which I know is, you know, can be normal for transcriptions. I think it was like every three seconds or something like that. But the main part, the hard part, was that every 15 words... It had to go to a new line. Every 15 words of the translated version of the English part had to go to a new line. I didn't even know how to do that. I had to like do it and then later pass over everything and you know make sure that each uh, each box just had 15 words in it. And I mean, I feel like it's something like it was kind of my mistake. I should have checked up on this before I accepted the job. I just accepted knowing it was a transcription translation and that was it. And then, you know, he's like, oh, you need to write down the Italian as well. I'm like, okay, it shouldn't be too bad, even though it kind of was. And then later he gave me this whole formatting thing. But at that point, I felt like I'd already accepted it. No one, because I gave a pretty high price. I thought he wouldn't accept the price. But I mean, anyway, it's, uh, it's over now. And I'm really glad. I, I hurt my arm working on this. I thought it would take like a couple hours. Maybe I'd be done in an afternoon. Three days I was working on this. Three days. And, uh, and so anyway, I, um, I'm glad it's over. And so, yeah, if you're a transcriptionist, kudos to you. And in fact, let me know how you handle this. I don't know how to, I'm a, and I'm a pretty quick typer. Usually if I put the, um, the speed at like 0.6 to 0.8 speed of the real, of the real, you know, of, of normal speed, I can pretty much type along with whatever people are saying you know, depending on the speed and everything. That's why 0.6 to 0.8. And I had the software, Inscribe, which I know is, I mean, which, you know, can help. But, I mean, man, it took me forever. And I know there's other software you can use, and there's a kind with a pedal and all that, and I don't have that. But, oh boy, I mean, uh, I'm just glad it's over. If you are a transcriptionist, definitely let me know, though, because how you handle it, I'd be curious to see. In fact, it might be curious to... Um, to interview you or something or have a video about it because I obviously don't know much about it and I'd be curious to know and probably other people would as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know how you do it. Kudos to you for all you transcriptionists out there, transcriptionist translators out there. Good job. Keep doing what you're doing because I'm not going to be doing it. And uh, yeah, I retire from transcriptionist jobs from here on out. This is my official announcement. Anyway, that's it. Um, be back next week with more normal videos. I just kind of wanted to rant about this, blow off some steam, and because I'm glad that it's finally done. Now I'm going to get up and not sit down anymore and walk around a bit because it's been, I've been sitting down at this computer for too long now. Okay, bye.